All right, if you're just gonna derp, let's uh, switch to this. Got all the time in the world. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is raid day. Yes, indeed. So what we are going to do is we're going to take these two uh, arrow grenade, uh, grenade tipped arrows. We're going to hit Bravo and Alpha first. Then we're going to bring the loot from Bravo and Alpha back to base. And then we're going to take this breaching charge and these two nades and hit Charlie. And hopefully we'll pick up a couple more nades uh, in the process of taking those guys out. Uh, excuse me, I want to add a couple more bandages uh, to my uh, to my toolbar here. We got five health kits, uh, some spare pickaxes if we need them. We probably won't, but we might. And uh, we're bringing that for ammo. And let's do this. Uh, they We did get attacked by one of the hunter groups last night. I, I couldn't really tell who it was because it came in the dark. Uh, but we dispatched them. They did some damage to the base, but I'll worry about that later because we I, we have a full day of raiding ahead of us, and we want to be finished with Charlie by the end of the day. And then um, I'm hoping that in doing all three of them on the same day, it sets them back to all attacking us on the same day. I don't know if it will or not, but uh, because when I, when I moved my BCU when we did our last big base, uh, episode where we were upgrading the base that seemed to reset the attack cycles of the hunters it didn't reset the hunters themselves they you know their base and and they still st stuck around but after I did that I had like I don't know four five days where they didn't attack at all and I started thinking something was wrong and then they started kind of attacking again in in random waves you know like they normally would do so i'm pretty sure that by me making a new bcu you know and deleting the old one that that caused that to happen um which is fine uh, we still have doofus over there stuck behind the fence though he's like perpetually stuck behind that fence and it's just i don't know it's a little weird that that's the case but um he is yeah so I mean, that's to our advantage. It's one less we have to deal with, but still, it's broken. So, from that... Ooh, there's a bear. Uh, from that standpoint, I wish that that wasn't the case. All right. So, Bravo is most likely at home in their base. So, what we're going to do is switch to a grenade-tipped arrow and take their door out. That did not take the door out in one hit. I was told that that would be the case... Uh, in fact, it only, it didn't take it down any more than just a normal grenade. So, I must be missing something here. Huh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would have, a, a normal grenade would have taken it down that much. So, I don't know what the deal is, but apparently one single grenade-tipped arrow cannot take out a wooden door in one shot. Maybe I misread the comment. I don't know. I'll have to go back and, and read that comment again. But that is definitely not the case in my game. All right. That's fine. We'll just uh, do this the, the usual way. We'll use picks because I did make extra picks and uh, go from there. So I'll see you guys when we're ready to break this door down. Okay. Here we go. Since there's no one standing right at the door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Switch back to these arrows. Okay. Oh my goodness, we killed that. Well, he he must not have a vest on. I did not get a headshot off on him. Okay. But he does not have a combat vest on either. Okay, cool. All right, let's get the stuff. Um, so we got a bunch of adhesive, some nails. Oh, nice, nice. Look at that. Another solar panel. Yes. Very nice. All right. That was worth the price of admission right there. All right, now let's turn what I, I, I don't think I'm going to have time um, to come back here. But if we, things go exceptionally well today, uh, I want to have their power and mass built up because I need to make some more scuba tanks. Uh, that is not the priority today. But like I said, if we can, um, how much mass do they currently have? Uh, they have a hundred mass. Okay, and what do we need to make scuba tanks mass-wise? 
20. Okay, so we could we could make five scuba tanks uh, here. So we'll just let that run, build their power up, and then if we have time, we will come back and and um, let's get all this stuff too. See if we can make some. Man, that was awesome that we found a solar panel. In fact, hmm, it was so awesome. I don't want to risk the possibility of dying and losing it. So we're going to actually go back to the base right now and drop off, and then we're going to hit alpha. All right, guys. So since I went home, um, I decided to come back and bring stuff to make five of these right now. Well, wait. I thought we had 100 mass. Um, that was weird. Okay, well, let's, if I turn this on and leave, it's going to drain the power completely down by the time it builds up the mass. So, well, yeah, all right, well, let's just go ahead, Alpha, and we'll come back here on the way back to, oh, Charlie. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, I see a bear. Oh. I didn't see you, Wolf. Oh, he's after us. Okay, let's just run. We'll go ahead, Alpha. We'll swing back by here and get... Here's a moose in the water. Uh, get our, our tanks and see if we can queue up a couple more. And then Charlie's... We'll do Charlie this afternoon. Uh, it is about mid-morning, so I think we're okay on time. Wolf, will you just get the hell out of here? That does not want to stop chasing us. Okay. It's time for Alpha. Our good buddies, Alpha. I'd like to get that ore, but let's not stop for that right now. All right. Is there anybody wandering around? Where the heck are they? Are they attacking us? Oh, yeah. They're, oh, there's one of them right there. Okay. Uh, he stood up right when I released the arrow. Doity rant. Okay. We're going to use one of those to make a new one of these to make up for the one he just made us waste. Oh, where's that coming from? Oh, up there. Okay. Um. Damn it. All right, let's do this. Let's get... Oh, he can open that window, can't he? Uh, we should probably try and dispatch him, because I have to stand back to do the grenade, and he's going to take a shot at us if we do. Come on out, bub. Oh, now he's down below. What's he doing? Okay, he's dead. I wasn't completely sure if I was hitting him, but there's the claymore, so we got to watch out for that. Okay, let's get the bow and get the grenade tipped. Stand back a little bit here. We're going to hit it right in the middle. Yeah, that does not uh, take their door out. Okay. Well, I think we've definitely demonstrated that that doesn't work, at least not in my game. I'm playing on normal difficulty, so I don't know if that matters at all. Um, you know, in terms of how strong blocks and things like that are, but it, it doesn't take any more damage down than just a, a normal grenade thrown down at the foot of the door. Okay, let's break in, get the stuff, stop back by Bravo's, get our tanks, go home, drop off, and then Charlie this afternoon. All right, here we go. All right, you're just going to derp. Let's uh, switch to this. Got all the time in the world. <laughs> okay, let's grab this and that and all of this. What do we got in here? Oh, we got another, a couple premium arrows back out of the deal. That's not bad. Some adhesive, some magnum shells, nails. All right, not anywhere near as good as Bravo's was, but it's okay. And that's it. I'll, there's nothing more whoop, to loot in their base. I'm trying to get up on the stairs here. Oh no, I take that back. We do have a this up here too. Oh nice, we got some more glass that we can use for jars. 
And yeah, we are good to go. So let's hit, hit, uh, boop, hit. <clears throat> Man, what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> head back to Bravo, get our stuff, go to the base, drop off, and then hit Charlie. It is, looks like it's about high noon, so we got to move, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, crap. The game reset them. All right, well, we don't have time for this. I wonder if there's like a hunter that's out down fishing or something like that and they come back and then they fix the door. It's either that or it's the dude stuck behind the fence causes the game to think that the hunters are still there and it fixes their door. I don't know. Well, okay, we were out of we're out a couple materials then for those tanks, but whoa. Uh but you know what? That's all right. Here, let's eat that. And um yeah, we'll go back, drop off and I'll meet you guys over at Charlie's. Okay, so Charlie's got a couple of guys walking around outside. So what we're going to do is approach from behind this tree. So we have a little bit of cover before and take those dudes out. I wonder if we could actually get a sneaky a sneaky sneak shot in on them. He's down. And he's down. Nice. Okay, let's get... Uh, where did the other one's bag go? we got to be careful because they're claymores, right? Oh, there's the bag. Oh, shoot. Where's their claymore? I know it's somewhere on this side. Bowsers. Don't. Yeah, this is dangerous. Can we get to it? There we go. Okay. All right. So we want to approach pretty much straight on here. Um. Okay. Yeah, we can we can approach straight on. Okay, there's I, there's one claymore there that I guess it was further back than I thought. And I thought there was a claymore over here too. Okay, right, here we go. Are is everybody fully loaded here? Let's make sure you're fully loaded. this bow. Oh, he just came out of the door. That's why we get a whole bunch of bandages when we come into Charlie's house. Still hear footsteps. You know, I don't think we need to, but let's take a health kit anyway just to be on the safe side. Oh! And there's still another one. <laughs> there's so many dudes in here. Coming down from upstairs, right? Okay, I don't hear any more footsteps. I think we're clear. All right, let's get all the stuff from these guys. Now, um, I'm really hoping that we will find grenades. I heard footsteps. Uh, grenades in the first chest here. 
And we didn't. Doggone it. Okay, let's take all of that stuff. Um. So here's what. <coughs> excuse me. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's store a couple of things in here. We'll put a uh, two pickaxes in there. Uh, let's turn these back into these. We gotta hurry, man. We are like running low on time. Stuff that's not super important to take back with us, we'll put in there just in case we have to make a run for it. Here, let's just eat those. Eat that. Um, that's not super important. I want to keep... Here, we'll eat that too. I want to keep the rest of this with... That's not super important either. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started with these rooms here. Excuse me. If we end up getting stuck in here overnight, I mean, we can we can hold our ground. I should have plenty. I I, I have lots of ammo because I've been mostly using the arrows, anyways, and I still have 13 of those left too. Well, you know what? Okay, I guess I, I guess the grenade tipped arrows do more damage to the door than the normal grenades. So. They definitely do more damage to it, but that still definitely don't one-shot them either. And maybe I misread that comment. I'll have to go back and read it again. All right, here we go. No grenades, doggone it. Uh, we got some padded cloth and some um, alloy sheets, though. All right, this is really going to be hard. As you can see, it's nighttime now, so we are definitely going to have to... Stand our ground. I'm going to grab those two things. The rest of that I don't care about so much. Did we already loot this? So Chaz is going to be coming back any time. And I think I'd like to be all the way at the top of the building to take them on. Let's grab all of that. Uh, they don't have anything at all in there. Okay, we, got, we have to break into that room, but we'll do that later. Because they're going to show up here any minute. And we're gonna, we have to dispatch them first. So, uh, let's eat that. We'll take the waters. Well, let's just drink them because they're taking up a spot. We'll eat that too. Um, you know what? Let's let's keep this going, just so we have um a little bit of light. Yep, they're here. Okay, I'm gonna just. Hold up in here. And we'll stand our ground. What are you doing? Get down there. So they gotta come to us. It's really difficult to tell exactly what they're doing because their footsteps are kind of all over the place. Sorry about the darkness too, guys, but I only have one weapon flashlight on my rifle, and I'd rather have my magnum out for this. What I'm basically going to do is just hunker down here all night. If they don't come to, to me, then we'll go after them in the daylight, but I don't want to do it in the dark. Maybe at some point... Later on in the end of the game, when I've got lots of resources, I'll have a flashlight for each one of my weapons. Oh man, terrible shooting. Okay, that's one down. You know what? Let's let's just use our bow, man. Our bow is so powerful. I could have one shot at him right in the head. Of course, in all fairness, my magnum's not upgraded at all, so. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's wait right here, because then we're still protected by the glass and we can see them coming. This is better. I'm almost thinking I should put the flashlight on my bow, except for I can't do that without a workbench, and I'm not sure if the bow will take a flashlight. I'll have to look at look at that. Are you guys coming or not? Come on, let's get this done. Come on, come on. All 
All right, well, let's, uh, come over here. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, just enough light to, to see here. I don't know how good it looks on your guys' screen. It's gonna gonna be pretty dark, I'm, I would imagine. Nobody's coming up this way. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Is that it? I don't hear any more footsteps. What do we just lose here? Eggs? Um, we'll eat those. Can we put those in there? Oh, we can. Look at that. Okay, let's put perishables in there. If I remember to get them later. Okay, starting to lighten up. Really, that's all they're going to send at us. Interesting. Okay, well, let's get to work on this top top door. I'm just looking to see if there's any hunters wandering around outside. Weird. Alright, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised is all. Okay. Alright, let's get this door busted down and with a little bit of luck we'll have a grenade. If we don't, then that means I'm just going to have a, a really long picking session on the last door. Okay, here we go. Nobody in here. Oh, good, we got grenades. Okay, very good. Um, We might be able to pick all this up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. Good. So, now we got two grenades. That will get us in the final room. I want to get all of the um, stuff out of there. Yeah, you know what? Our, our base is just going to have to get attacked. That's all there is to it. Um, let's, yeah, let's pick that up. <clears throat> Got everything out of there. Got everything out of there. So it's just this last door that we got to do. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to actually put a couple things. Um, yeah, here let's let's get their power and fuel and all that wasted. Turned off, on, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's put a few things in here. Um, again, actually, I want the want to keep the higher end stuff on our person just in case we have to make a mad dash for it. So yeah, let's just go with that and see see how how we do. Since we have time and I have extra picks, I'm going to save that last grenade and just break through here. All right, here we go. be in here all right well we got some more plates some nails yeah this is actually kind of a sucky crate all things all things considered uh and we didn't get any ingots at all from n n n these raids not none none at all <laughs> which kind of sucks okay well it was fun and um let's go ahead and vominose And get back to the base. We're going to have some repairing to do, of course. Oh, wait. I'm leaving a couple things behind, aren't I? We want all of... We want that for sure, that for sure, that for sure. Uh, the rest of this stuff is just not a big deal. I mean, we could, we could eat that. 
this we could turn into a one of these and honestly I just really don't care too much about the rest of that stuff it's just not that big a deal okay let's go yeah so the next time I do this I either need to start just a little uh, after midnight if we want to get it all done in one single day um, or we need to make an FOB a forward operating base I don't know maybe over there or something that might not be a bad idea we could make a forward operating base we hit Bravo we hit Charlie we drop off at the FOB and then we come over and get Charlie over here I I'm sorry Alpha a uh, Bravo Alpha and then Charlie is that what I said I don't know um I didn't really consider making an FOB until just now because you know our base is so close that we can just run back but you know you do that a couple times during the day while you're raiding and it does definitely take some time uh, the other thing that I don't have at my base is just a, a drop-off chest you know and so I took some time to make sure stuff was put away correctly and that you know that just takes more time too so yeah I think an FOB is probably the the right way to go for the next time we raid all three of them at the same time but anyway let's get back to the base take a quick look at at uh, the damage okay I was gonna see if that light would brighten things up a little bit yeah we definitely got some damage here that we're gonna have to deal with don't really see any visible damage on the oh yeah there's visible damage there too what about over here they don't usually come over here they they can I've happened once or twice but it's pretty rare that they come all the way over there yeah we got a little damage uh, actually quite a bit of damage up here too but it looks like they the attack concentrated all the firepower right in here which is which is normal that's a that's usually where they're going to hit anyways. Okay, so I've got a little bit of repairing to do, but nothing we can't handle. We've got over a f full stack of nails. Uh, well, actually, how many nails do we have now? Yeah, we've got almost 500 nails after that raid, which isn't bad at all. Uh, we got eight of these alloy sheets, which I can use. The prize of the day, of course, was the solar panel. Can't complain about that. No siree. So that's great. That gives us four solar, pan uh, solar panels in total. Let's go actually set that down right now so we can, even though we're not going to get a lot out of it with the, the rain, but let's get her set down uh, next to the other ones here. Uh, so we want to put it right about there-ish. Cool. Nice. Four solar panels. That's going to help. Love it. All right, you guys. Well, um, overall, the raid was okay. It wasn't... Uh, I would have liked to have gotten some... You know, some ingots, but we can make our own ingots, you know. Not not that big a deal. It just takes more resources. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the raid went. The most important thing, of course, is that we didn't die ourselves. And we got to spend the night at Charlie's, which is kind of fun. Yes, we did. All right, I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, as usual, probably take a couple days off and just, you know, replenish resources, get the base repaired, that sort of thing. And uh, the next thing on the agenda is for us to get our climbing picks and then build a an FOB down in the lava cave and hit the lava cave for the first time here in season two. Whether we get all of that done in the next episode, I'm not sure, but that is what we're going to work towards. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the very next episode. We got a crate right in our backyard. Love it.